How's it going everybody out there in YouTube world? Welcome back to another guitar lesson. I'm your host, Logan Grendel. And as always, if you see anything you like in this video today, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below this video and to share with your friends. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash, which was originally recorded in 1956 in Memphis, Tennessee at Sun Record Studios. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna be showing you, I come up with a way that you can play this by yourself without a band. You know, you can play the chords along with it because not a lot of people know this, but the original recording of this song only had an electric guitar and an upright bass and of course vocals. There was no, there were no drums. There were no, there was, there wasn't anything else at that time. Uh, that iconic ch -ch 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 that everybody associates Johnny Cash's music with at that time was actually just a dollar bill weaved between the strings, okay? So a little little cool background story on how that all sounds the same way it does, the way it does, okay? So, um, so I come up with a way to play the chords, the corresponding chords along with the iconic bass walk-ups or uh, bass line walk-ups that were played by none other than Luther Perkins on an electric guitar, all right? So, we'll get right into it. So, before I show you the chords, I'm gonna show you the actual walks, and then I'll show you the chords later. So, the first one is gonna be... So, open to second fret to fourth fret, and then open A string. So. And then in between that, you're gonna go to open E. And then open A twice. And that leads you into the next walk up. So. It's going to be the same movement, just the string down. So open A to second fret and then fourth fret and then open D. So and you're going to do the same thing in between as well. So Instead of going, keep going up, we're going to go back down. So what we got so far is... All right. So then after you go... Two, it's going to be three two so open D twice three two open so and then the same the same thing that you did before so what we got so far is You're going back down from that same first walk up. So, and so you can you can either put your just one finger there, or you can go ahead and make the E major chord, which I'm going to show you that anyway. So you'll notice that that note is the second note of an E major chord. So. So, and 
then the next part. So it's going to be open to second fret and then open to second fret. So the same movement on the bo on both strings. And you'll notice that that's making the way for the B7 chord shape. So in that song so 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 what we got so far just for the walk-ups is I'll walk through that slowly one more time so you know what it's like so guitar that's all you have to do you can just stop right here but if you're going to play it with just yourself and an acoustic guitar to like hanging out with your friends and like just to have fun with yourself or whatever you'll play it with the chords along with it so that's what i'm going to show you next so so first one is uh the same walk up do that first walk up you're going to make an A chord so you can either do the bar A chord or the either one is fine all right I like to do the bar one so uh, excuse me you're going to do right there is so all you're going to do is do the same walk up and then strum the A chord so so what that is is on the A chord. And then that next walk up, you're going to strum a D chord. And then when you walk back down, you're going to go back to the A chord. So... seven chord shape so I'm gonna play that real slowly and then up to speed one more time so you can hear what it's like and that'll be it for this video all right so It's going to be all right and 
that's the full song. So again, if you see anything you like in this video, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share with your friends. And that'll be all, and I'll catch you all on the next video. See ya.